everyone, Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm, and today we're going to talk about overwintering or putting your fig tree to bed. And what do I mean by that? Fig trees, the ones I have, this is a Olympian fig tree, by the way. This was a gifted fig tree, so Dean, thank you so much. Um, but let's talk about how to overwinter these. These need a hibernation period, but a period that doesn't freeze. So it's got to stay above freezing. It's got to be in a dry location. So where do I put it? A garage? Well, perhaps the only problem with the garage is all the cold air, or every time you open that door, opens, closes, it gets humid, then it dries out. So I found a place that's unheated in the basement with a lot of my plants, which you'll see that doesn't have all that cold draft or anything else. It's just cold, dry and cold. And these need to sit in a place where they don't receive any water. It's almost cruel, but this is um, how they like it. So before I could go to bed, we have to do a few things. It's important to get rid of any dead leaves, any branches, because these will get every disease there is. So don't give them the opportunity. Also, we'll talk about the foster dog. He's getting into my grandson's stuff. These will get every bug there is during the winter. So you'll, in the spring, take them out wondering why they don't have any leaves. The bugs will go to the root of it. So you need to just spray. Spray it really well around the root ball. You could do everything else around it, but here is very important. Those that have mice, you want to get a cayenne pepper and sprinkle it around and spray it to keep them from burrowing. Okay, next step. Okay, the next step is for some, they cover it. So burlap bag, we, um, do big things of rice. You'll meet this dog in a minute. And they cover it. I don't cover mine. And my reason is these need darkness, but I want them to come out of dormancy really early because figs take a long time, or this particular one, and the Chicago, Chicago hardy fig need a long time to get the fruit. See, these are no good. Actually, I need to pull these off and um, to ripen. So I want them out of dormancy early. So I'm not going to cover them. I'm not going to keep them in the total dark. They will wake up in February. Now, do I want to prune the roots? No, I don't want to prune the roots right now. I'm going to wait if it needs. This one doesn't till January. In January, when it's in total dormancy, I'm gonna check and make sure the roots aren't too much. You know, we'll pull it out and we'll trim some of it. But I'm also gonna do some cuttings. So a lot of people do cuttings now, put in the refrigerator for six weeks, eight weeks, whatever. Leave them on there. Less to worry about. Put them in the basement, January, cut some, prune it and root those. So this one is really ready to go. But um, let's take this Olympian fig downstairs. All right, one last thing on this video. We have fostered some dogs to help some dogs this year. And his he is the last one. He's gonna be a massive puppy that loves to chew, very well behaved. He pulls the leash a hundred times. <laughs> But seriously, he needs a wonderful home for the holidays. So anybody interested, if you send a message, we'll um, place you. It went through PetSmart. Um, we could give you the info. But back to the video. All right, we're in my basement where I store all my plants. It's a jungle here, literally. And the lighting's going to be bad. But that's great for this Olympian fig, the Chicago hardy fig, or any other one. And I'm going to put it not in the swimming pool because I'm not going to water this. Once a month, I'm going to put my finger in it 
And if it really feels like Sahara Desert, I'll give it a quick drink, not all the way through, and that's it. Now I'm gonna put it on the concrete floor so it doesn't get any moisture and it really gets cold. That foster puppy is like, does anybody need that foster puppy? And um, that's it. Now, one more thing. People are looking around to get gifts for people. This fig was gifted by Dean through a friend of Howard's, my one of my best friends from college, Howard. And um, giving a fig or a citrus plant is one of the best things, especially if you have kids. They can watch it, they can learn how to care for it. But anyway, Dean and Howard, thank you so much. So this is it. I'm not doing anything else. I'm just gonna leave it. And um, this is how you put a fig to bed in a basement. Have a great day. Please subscribe, like, and share, and please adopt that foster puppy. <laughs> Bye.